second largest lake. Miss Nibbles. So this is the boat ramp that Paul talks about in a lot of his videos. Right down the street there is where we're going to be. See if we see any alligators. Lake Livingston alligators. There's the lake. Wipe off my feet. So we just pulled up here to see the lots. They're pretty well wooded. Right there, 423 by land. The mosquitoes are super thick right now. They're all over me. Get off my arms. So anyway, here we are. Yeah, so this is uh, Dave the Magic Man here. He's gonna come up the driveway this way. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're gonna have your cover up a little bit, right? Okay, uh-huh. We'll put it on the right side. Now what are your plans for saving trees? Well, I'd like to be able to save all the big ones that I can. Uh, you know, going around. Like, I, I guess I could see these two big trees right here. I Probably put the driveway between those two big trees. Yeah. I'd imagine. I'll so. take that big one out. Yeah, so a culvert here maybe? Yeah, and you can like kind of make your driveway go like this a little bit. Uh-huh. Come up to there and then kind of go that way. Yeah. Which ones are poison ivy? The ones with the three leaves. Okay. But all this little brush you're going to want out, right? Yeah, all the small and stuff. Just save some of those. Yeah, because I see one that's leaning back over in there. I probably you probably want to take that one out. Okay. Okay, now this. So the 
the house is going to be kind of off center of the lot, right? Yeah, or this, you know, this isn't to scale. You know, it's just kind of a general idea based on what we have here for trees. Where do you live? Um, just outside of uh, the woodlands. Oh, okay. So you're local. Mm-hmm. So do you want me to give you a rough estimate on what it's going to take to do it? Yeah, yeah, I guess, uh, you know, what's the first step, second step, third okay, step? first step is the cover. Okay, first step and then... And the clearance. Uh-huh. Get out of these bushes. <laughs> One thing nice about this lot, though, I noticed, it's, it kind of slants down that okay. way, back to the back, which is good. That's going to allow your water to run off to the back. Uh-huh. Now, a lot of times on some of these, lots, I'm probably pretty much going to have to walk I notice that there's like some uh, big poles right in the middle. I can have this. Key. Yeah, yeah, I made that for you. I'm going to go ahead and walk on it. Braver than I am. Well, if you don't look at it, really <laughs> good, you know. I lasted about three minutes in there. Here we go for round two. Not real thick in here, but yeah, that's what Paul was saying is that most of the trees are smaller. So I guess that's what I saw here. Yeah. So normally on a regular a lot of times with a lot like this. They'll leave some of the brush in the back. Uh, yeah, right. And kind of make you a little wall there. Uh -huh. Enough with the road noise. Yeah, so we want like some privacy both front and back where okay. we can. But the general areas, you know, uh, do do the clearing. Now looking at that list, your house is probably going to be sitting right about here, huh? Uh-huh. So these would have to go right here. In the center. Yeah. And then... One, uh, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that one. Where all these small trees are in the back over there is maybe a, like a garden area. Mm -hmm. And then the driveway, I guess, would probably be like right here. So do you want to put the driveway? Well, the driveway, we can get with that once we get it all cleared and look at it. And uh -huh. we'll decide. Because we know where the culvert's going to go. Uh -huh. So if you're going to want it at an angle or whatever, we'll just see how that works out. But I think the first thing to do would be to uh, get it cleared and you know, get the culvert and get it cleared you know once you get it in your name and then we're going to come in and mark the trees that we need to take out okay yeah maybe a, a day when it's um it hasn't just rained or something <laughs> it's going to take it'll take a couple weeks for this to dry out if it doesn't rain yeah well i'm just and thinking see, the thing mosquitoes. Of it is, oh yeah they're here for a while but see, you can't put dirt in a, in, in a hole like that uh -huh. with water in it because uh -huh. the dirt just turns to mush. Uh -huh. So the dirt that I use uh, is a 60-40, and that brings you up to a level where the water can't come in off of other lots okay. onto yours. Uh -huh. That's the main reason for the buildup. And each lot usually takes between 10 and 12 loads of dirt. Okay. And that, and then I usually bid the dirt a little bit high, and then if I don't use it, I don't charge it. Okay. That okay. way I don't like to have to come back to my customer and say, hey, it's going to take more than I told you. Uh-huh. Go like this right by the eye. Oh. <laughs> yeah, try to get some, we'll some on. privacy on, on the four corners, or the four walls, I guess what they call them. Walls. They don't look like you have much over there. Uh-huh. And you never know when somebody's going to move in next to you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I had one guy, he, he had a real nice private place. Two weeks later, there was people on three sides of him. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, huh? Yeah, so maybe for now, just a, a bid on, okay. on what, what you can see, yeah. So I always wondered, all the stuff that you're clearing out, where does it go? Landfill? They have a burn lot. Oh, burn lot. Yeah. I have to load it up and take it to a burn lot. Yeah, well, this lot is 
nowhere near as wet as some of them other ones. Really? Huh. Right here. <laughs> Alright, let's go sit in the truck and I'll make oh, Okay. Okay. Get away from the mosquitoes for a little bit. Oh, they'll be in here too. my new book today all right so you must have been busy to fill up an old fill up a book already i filled up two already this year. <laughs> <laughs> now you know before you uh before you can put your sewer and electric in mm -hmm. you have to have a, a 911 address oh yeah we'll do that on yeah. that same day that we but did the transaction the part that i do here mm -hmm. you don't need to do anything about it you know, like they, some, they tell some people that you need to go down there and do an architecture plan and all oh, that. Uh -huh. But they know me out here. So okay. I can put the culvert in and do that. Because right. if you go down there, they, they tell everybody 15 inch culvert. Oh, okay. And I know you don't want your culvert to look like this. Uh -huh. yeah. It's going to look like that. I did that a lot down there. Oh, okay. Well, what is a like a standard size? Uh, 20 foot. Uh, by by uh, up in here, I would probably go a 10, oh, 10 really? inch. Yeah. 10 inch, huh? that's, that's enough. What, that's what I have over there, yeah, and over there. Oh, okay. But this drain's pretty good on this end. Now, you, I know if you came through the neighborhood, you've seen a lot of standing water down there along the side of the road, right? Uh -huh. Is that what this is? Yeah. yeah. That's what that red dirt is. That's that. Oh, okay. That's that clay. Uh huh. So this here, this gravel here is what you call road base. Okay. That's what you got to put down first. Now, what a lot of people do is they come back after the road base is on, after everything settles, and they put that real pretty white gravel on. Oh. I'm going to show you another one. I did that. I did this lot. See, this is oh. the white gravel I'm telling you. Okay. That, they, that, that all had road base on it, and then they put the white gravel in here. The white gravel's a little high, but if you notice, that road base is kind of rocky. Yeah, um, the diameter of the rocks was yeah. bigger. Uh -huh. now, these two lots I did down here, I got the dirt and all that in there, and then they just they ain't done nothing else oh, okay. except put a house on it. So. When you leave it like that, uh -huh. and you get all this rain, it doesn't help it. Oh. So they didn't level see, where the house is? Huh? They didn't level yeah, where the house is? Yeah, it's all level. It's just okay. like that one. But see, the gravel we put on very last. Oh, the reason okay. being for that oh. is when they come and put your sewer, water, and electric in, they're going to tear your gravel up, and it's going to oh, get I all see, kind of see. mud and stuff in it. Yeah. See these people I put a culvert in for them, I ain't seen them in a year. Oh wow. Well, I'm gonna take you down and show you my prepare place. Okay. Is your wife in the truck with you? Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't want to know nothing to do with them mosquitoes, huh? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I don't think I've seen mosquitoes like that. Last year we hardly had any. It was a real dry year. Oh, so you think it's really because of the, the standing water or, oh, yeah. or, or is it just that time of year? It's, it's standing water. That water won't stand, they couldn't breed. Mm. This is one of my jobs right here. Mm. That was nothing but woods when I started. This is a double lot. Okay. Yeah. He put a lot of money into that though. Really? <laughs> but now here's, here's an example of the road base. Oh, okay. See it there. Uh -huh. <coughs> Some of it is a little rockier than others. Okay. Like this one here, I had to come back and fix it. All my work is guaranteed. The only thing that goes wrong with something I did, I fix for nothing. So then, as far as the steps go, a culvert is first, and then what's next? The culvert's that? first, and then clearing. Clearing, okay. And then the big trees. Okay. And those are really like three different steps. Yeah. But you gotta get all that brush out of your way first. 
that. This is the one I did right here. Okay. And, uh, he's not going to be moving until December. So I keep coming back and repacking it so it don't oh. get soft on me. Uh -huh. The lot where uh, where Paul has that big tree falling down in his video, is that near here someplace? Uh, it's like, I don't that's his, which lot. That's his introduction. Oh, there's a turtle on the road over there. Yeah. Oh, you know, <laughs> He's having fun. Yeah. He loves, him, loves the water. Yeah, there's... It's an introduction to his video where he cuts down this big, giant, huge tree. Yeah. <laughs> and it falls, just falls right down in the middle of the lot. Oh, I think that was way back there in the back. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've done a lot of lots out here. Yeah. Well, Paul says that you're a good guy to know. Well, the reason Paul uses me is because people come and they buy these lots and then they don't know who to use. Uh -huh. And there are some unscrupulous people around. Uh -huh. That's why he uses me because he knows I'm going to give everybody a fair shake. I don't care if they come around throwing all kind of money around or whatever. My prices stay the same for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I'm, I'm here because of Paul's recommendation and... I guess I have, you. I guess I have, you've earned it. <laughs> I've had three different realtors that use them, just like Paul does. Oh, okay. I have like at least ten people on the list right now. Oh wow. Where Where do we fit on the list? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be done with all that stuff by then. Uh, okay, well, no, maybe not. When When is the close on that? Uh, the middle of June. Okay. It's May now, right? It's not that far away. Yeah, so we'll do culvert first, and then clearing, and then I think we'll be on our way. Maybe some fumigation for the mosquitoes or something. <laughs> yeah, they sell them foggers. Yeah. This is a double lot right here that I did. Oh, right here? Yeah. I actually live next door. This is my place right here. Oh, okay. So I got to choose my neighbor. Oh. <laughs> I found that place was going for sale. Oh. I own five lots right here. Oh, wow. Got my tractors and stuff in the back over there. So all your lots are all joined? Yeah. Nice. Back then you could pick up a lot for 1500 Yeah, I bet. I bet. I think I paid... 25 for two lots and then it just kept growing after that. How long ago was that? It's been about 10 years. Uh -huh. Yeah, now everything's just so overpriced. The bubble's going to pop again. But we knew that we were going to be paying a high price for the slots here, but it's really what we want. So you, you, You've got a very really good choice in lots right there. So now that gives you an idea of what I do. Mm -hmm. I take great pride in my work. Y'all. I believe in doing it right the first time. Yeah, that's always the best way. Then you always have happy customers. I did this a lot for that guy probably two years ago. I mean, never seen him since he put his electric in. Oh. Growing up wow. pretty good there, ain't it? Yeah. This is it. Uh-huh. Right here. Okay, so culvert's going to be 900. That counts your culvert and two loads of dirt. And that's the culvert being set in the ground, not just rolled over in there. Oh, okay. You got to set them in about like this. That's why they trust me out here, because uh -huh. I always do that. Uh -huh. And then you're going to have a nice flat driveway to drive over. Okay. Okay, and then the clearing. I usually charge 1200 per lot, but since you're doing two together, I'm gonna cut your break on that. 12 and every little bit helps. I'm gonna say 2000. We'll see how much, and 
I always overbid this a little bit, and then if it doesn't take that much work, then I'll be subtracting some of this out of here. Okay. Usually, where I can do the subtracting is on the on the dirt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, once you get all them trees and everything cut out of there, we're gonna have to have a stump grinder come in there and grind the stumps out. Okay. Is it per stump or something? He 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 gives me a basic price. It's usually about two fifty to three hundred a lot. Oh. So I'm gonna put six on there. If it ain't six, I ain't gonna charge you that. Okay. Then, so that's regardless of the how many trees or. No trees are extra. Oh, we're so going to take all the small stuff out, and then we're oh, going to come okay. in here and we're going to mark the trees that you want. Oh, okay, so and when I saw stump grinding, I'm thinking the trees. Yeah, the trees and all that little stuff too. Anything like like, like that, uh, uh -huh. he gets it all. So, I'm so is that part of the clearing or is no? Is that, that's so that's part of the stump. Somebody grinding. else does that. Okay, I, I pay him to do that. Uh, let me see what I say is going to be. Okay, now you see that gra how I got that gravel on that one up there? Yeah. You seen how far I went in? Okay. That, that represents six hundred and fifty dollars worth of gravel. Oh, okay. Uh, ten, and that's ten tons of gravel. Ten tons will get you in thirty-five feet by twenty feet. Okay. So about thirty-five feet in? Yeah. For ten tons. Ten tons. Okay. If you keep it at twenty foot wide. Which I usually suggest for people to do that way you can park two cars side oh, by side. Oh, yeah. Sure. So I'm going to put 10 loads per lot. If it doesn't take that, then we won't use it. $80,000. Well, that's not funny. 80000 is not funny. <laughs> so if we use all 20 loads, it's going to be $4,000. Okay. That's, that's, and I don't think we'll use that many. That's just to bring the dirt in, right? And that, uh, that's that counts spreading it. Spreading it, okay. Okay, now I'm going to put down here the price of the gravel. I'm not adding that in yet. That's going to be the very last thing we do. Okay. So it's going to come to a total of 7450 But we're going to shave some of that off, right? mm -hmm. I guarantee you. It seems pretty high because I'm usually always just bidding one lot. Oh. Your electric and your, your sewer and your water, mm -hmm. we're going to figure out where the building is going to go and then decide which side to put that sewer on. We'll mm -hmm. make it to the close close to the straight point that we can. Okay. That way it's a little less expensive for you. And I have a guy that does real good plumbing and work like that. Okay. And then when we get out here, that. we're going to look around. I want to see how the electric situation is on this side. I think right over the shoulder here is a transformer. Oh, well, that'll be good for you. Yeah. So we just got to get the, get it to cross the street. Yeah, let's get out. Yeah, that's what Paul was saying is that you can go from right here all the way across the street, I guess. Yeah, but see, they usually, they usually put it on a corner of the lot. But you got that top there, you get that big tree there, too. You might have to bring some of that tree down. Is this, the other lot's on that side, right? Uh huh. And then we can probably bring the sewer in here somehow. Probably put your sewer line right, right about here. So who does the sewer work? Uh, it's a company called Aquatech. Oh, okay. Now here's one thing about the water out here. Your bill's going to be a, a $93 a month. Uh -huh. Once you put that water line in, uh -huh. whether you use it or not, they're going to start charging it. Oh, okay. So it's like a flat rate? It's a flat rate. Oh, okay. So you want to kind of do that. Have that done when, once you get your house and everything put in there, you know what I mean? Uh-huh, yeah. 
So you got any other questions? No, I guess. Um, and what about like permits, like building permits or something? Permits. When when it comes time for us to do like a foundation or okay. a, other things like that, when is you, that required? Yes, you have to have a building permit. Okay. And uh, when you go down there and do your nine one ad nine one one address, uh -huh. you do your building permit then. Okay. And Paul, when he sells these lots, his wife gives you a really nice package. Okay. And she'll give you all that information. And, let you know what you need to do. So are there inspections and all that and with the permits? No. Do they have to inspect what well, you're building? Well, you know, the electric company will come out and inspect. Okay. Before they do their mm -hmm. stuff. They have an engineer that comes out and looks at it and he tells you if they can put that pole there or not. Or okay. Uh -huh. Because I was just wondering, is it, as we're building, if stuff needs to be inspected. I have never seen an inspector out here, but mm. I know they're building some houses over on the other side. Yeah. And then when you go to that office, they'll tell you, they, over here, they'll tell you, you have to have a certified plumber. Oh. You don't have to have a certified plumber out here. Okay. <laughs> now, what about, see these smaller trees here? Uh-huh. You probably don't want them out, huh? Uh, probably just like what's dead, I guess. Um, you know, because I'd like to have some kind of privacy there for the house. And what, what I can anyway? Because, you know, you're going to have to get a, get a, a way to get your sewer line in there. Uh -huh. Them trees in the way there. But well, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll do the clearing. You know, when you're ready, uh -huh. we'll get together. Uh -huh. I take half down when I start and the other half when I'm done. Okay. And then we'll see how everything looks. But you don't want to leave them scrubby brush bushes right there though, right? Well, I mean, not, not what's... Well, like the, the, the small like the one inch yeah. trees I don't mind keeping that there for privacy but you know the dead stuff would probably come out yeah. and you know level what you can I guess yeah, but you know yeah, some, some really kind of a some kind of a screen there for yeah. privacy you can kind of see back there where it's like clearing mm -hmm. um, there's more sunlight back there uh, that's probably where the house is going to be anyway yeah, that's going to be all right back in there, you mean? Uh, yeah, right. Directly in front of us. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Well, thank you, sir. We'll get together. Thank you for meeting with me. No problem. Thanks. And uh, thank thanks you for, for the estimate. Me. And I'll like let you know that you know when we're ready. Oh, that's the that's the Honda Overlander. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's uh, the car that I built for me and my wife. We like to go camping. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, I got sir. You in my phone, yeah. and I'll be looking forward to your call. All right, I'm gonna get Paul a call next. Maybe by then I'll have a lot of them other ones done. Oh yeah, that's nice. I'll come by and see those for sure. Oh, you got my car dirty. I did. Oh man, now it looks like you had fun. <laughs> Close the door. Close the door. Okay. So that's our estimate there. Seven thousand. Yeah. That's where. So really, he said the reason it sounds kind of expensive is because it's two lots. Uh huh. He's gonna he's gonna cut the trees too. Uh, well, what the trees that we want cut? Cool. So nine hundred for a culvert, two thousand to clear the. So the, it has to be done all at the same time. No, no, we can do it as we want. Just half down for each job, like for the clearing, mm -hmm. two thousand. He said he'd take half down, mm -hmm. um, and then you know the other half when he's finished. Mm -hmm. Stump grinding is five fifty, and then the dirt work is about four thousand. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be the biggest deal right there is the four thousand yeah. for dirt to level out the lots, and then gravel. Mm -hmm. We figured out some kind of gravel. Six hundred fifty bucks for ten tons of gravel, mm -hmm. which only gives you a pad of about. It's at 10 feet by 35 feet. 10 or 20? Uh, 20 by 35. Oh, is it 20? Yeah. 20 by 35. 
Okay. Nibbles, you didn't go sleep. No. You didn't go sleep. Being attacked by the mosquitoes. Oh, she afraid of the mosquitoes. They just crack the window here and then they'll fly out. Okay. Let's go. I mean, it, it sounds reasonable. So, this is we come up with the money and we'll start paying for the stuff. Or you tell him, what if we lay away until you start until we put the money in? Lay away like Kmart? Yeah, Kmart. <laughs> Kmart used to have lay away.